टुडे हियर आई एम विद द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर फॉर क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव व्हाट इज द क्वेश्चन लेट अस ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द क्वेश्चन इफ वन इंच इज इक्वल टू टू पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर टू पॉइंट फाइव फोर सेंटीमीटर देन हाउ मेनी इंचेस विल सिक्सटी पॉइंट नाइन सिक्स सेंटीमीटर मेक इट मीन्स वॉट हेयर द मेजरमेंट ऑफ वन इंच इज गिवेन यू हैव टू फाइंड हाउ मेनी इंचेस विल मेक सिक्सटी पॉइंट नाइन सिक्स सेंटीमीटर इट मीन्स वॉट what you have to find out you have to find out inches okay so actually what we know in our unitary method what we have to do whenever we have to find the inches or whatever things the value that we need to find we have to keep it on our right hand side so here actually the sentence should be 1 inch equal to 1 inch is equal to 2.54 cm isn't it you should have written in this way but what you are going to find you are going to find inch so inch should be in place of centimeter and centimeter should be in place of inch how are you going to write this statement 2.54 cm is equal to 1 inch now 1 cm is equal to 1 by 2.54 inch therefore in the question how many in centimeter given 60.96 60.96 cm is equal to this 60.96 will go in the numerator 60.96 divided by 2.54 isn't it that means what this 60.96 will be multiplied with 1 and it will become 60.96 now what you have to do you have to cancel it how will you cancel you have to remove the decimal so did you remember what i said if you remove the decimal from numerator the number will be 6096 yes or no and if you remove the decimal from denominator the number will be 254 now from numerator after decimal how many digits are there two digit that means you have to add 20 along with one in the denominator upper side if you remove the decimal you have to add zero in the denominator and from denominator side if you remove any decimal you have to add zeros in the numerator you have to follow this thing now in our denominator we had 2.54 that means after decimal we had two digit now in the numerator we are going to add 20 with the this one one now 100 100 gone now remember uh, remaining 6096 and 254 both are even number so even number can be cancelled or divided by 2 so both are even number we can divide it by 2 254 if you divide by 2 it will be 2 1 ja 2 5 2 2 ja 4 1 4 2 7 14 that is 127 127 now 6096 6096 if you divide by 2 it will be How much? Two three ja six zero. It will be three zero four eight. Now again, you see one is even number, other is odd number. You cannot divide it by two. So here you try to divide it by three to make our number divisible by three. You have to check by adding the number seven plus two nine, nine plus one ten. Ten cannot be divided by three. So three zero four eight. It is also. 12 13 14 15 it is divisible by 3 but it is not now let us try to cancel 3048 by 127 directly okay pause it 27 24 3048 because 127 was prime number okay so that's why we have divided it by 127 so 24 inches so our answer is what 24 inches So, dear student, 24 inches is equal to 60.96 centimeter. Our question number five is over. Now, write next question. In our question number six, the product of two numbers is 18.576. If one of them is 5.4, find the other. It means what? When you multiply two number, your answer is 18.576. One number is given 5.4. You have to find the other number. Okay. So, if two number is equal to suppose you say fifteen, if one number is three, what will be the other number? Which two number will you multiply so that your answer will be fifteen? Now the question, the number you are thinking is five, isn't it? Now how come this five? This five has come from this two number. How can you take out five? That means 
here your answer should be 5 isn't it how can you take out this 5 with the help of this two number that means you have to divide this number by this so same way dear student here also you are going to do the same thing you have to divide the answer by the one number so how are you going to write it product so write given product equal to given product equal to 18.576 and one number equal to one number equal to 5.4 therefore other number equal to question mark you have to find the other number yes or no you have to find the other number therefore other number equal to we know there is a formula okay we know one number into other number equal to product of two number okay remember this line product of two number always when you multiply two number one number into other number your answer will be product of two number now here one number in place of one number you write this 5.4 into other number you have to find keep other number in this way product product given how much 18.576 now dear student you have to find other number keep other number on the left hand side now this number 18.576 you divide it by 5.4 here 5.4 on the left hand side it is multiply when the side we change it will become divide 5.4 yes or no now you solve it 18.576 divided by 5.4 18.576 in your numerator you have 18.576 i have removed the decimal and denominator decimal also i have removed now i am going to add zero remember what i said if you remove decimal from numerator you have to add zeros in the denominator same way if you remove decimal from denominator you have to add zeros in the numerator now in your question numerator after decimal you had three digit yes or no that means you are going to add three zeros in the denominator now in your denominator you had this dec uh, dec uh, decimal before one digit that means after decimal you had one digit so in the numerator you are going to add one zero after decimal okay sorry after one now this zero this zero gone now what will you do both are even number both are even number means you have to divide it by two 54 if you divide by two it will be 27 yes or no now 18576 if you divide by 2 2 9 18 2 2 4 2 8 16 2 8 16 9 2 8 8 can you divide it again by 2 you cannot but by 3 you might 8 16 17 18 18 9 27 yes you can divide it by 3 3 9 27 3 3 9 3 9 27 3 6 8 so 3 0 9 6 now can you divide it by 3 again? 15, 16, 17, 18. Yes. 3, 3, 9. 3, 10, 30. 3, 3, 9. 3, 2, 6. Again, you can divide it by 3. 3, 1, 3. 3, 3, 9. 3, 4, 12. 3, 4, 12. That means what? Our answer is 3, 4, 4. 3, 4, 4. And denominator you have 1 into this 100. It will be 100. Now, 344 by 100. Okay. In your denominator, if you have 10, 100 or 1000, do not cancel it. Simply what you have to do? Write the numerator here. And your denominator, you have 2, 0. That means you have to place decimal before 2 digit. It will be 3.44. Okay. That means, how will you write the answer at last? Therefore, the other number is, the other number is 3.44. This is your answer. Okay. 7. The question is a car covers a distance of 198.22 km in 4.4 hours. That means in 4.4 hours the car has covered 198 km. You have to find the distance covered in 1 hour. That means in 4 hours the car has covered this much distance. So in 1 hour you have to find the value. That means you have to find what? You have to find distance. So whatever thing you are going to find you have to keep it on your right hand side. So how will you start the writing? In 4.4 hours the car covered 198.22 km. So you are going to find the value of 1. In 1 hour the car covered 
198.22 divided by 4.4 kilometer. Now solve it. Remove the decimal. You have removed the decimal from denominator. Add it in numerator. 0 and here 10. Okay. Now this 10, 10 gone. 44 and this one you divided by 2. 2 2 is 4. 2 9 is 18. 2 9 is 18. 2 9 is 18. 1 2 9 2 1 2 2 1 2. Here by 2 you cannot buy 11. 11 2 is 22. 11 9 is 91. 99. Then 11 1 is 11. Yes. Now 901 by 901 by 20. 901 by 2 tens are 20. Now what we have to do? You have to divide 901 by 20. If you divide 901 by 20, 2 4 is 80, 1 0. Mm, 2 45 is 90. 901 if you divide 901 by 20 it will be 24 ja 80 1 0 1 now 25 ja 100 1 decimal 0 0 25 ja 100 so what is your answer? 45.05 45.05 kilometer. It is your answer. Is it clear? Right next question. So dear student, here in your question number 8, a bus covered a distance of 631 kilometer in 5 liters of diesel. Find the distance covered by the bus in 1 liter of petrol. That means what? In 5 liter, if the bus covered this much kilometer, you have to find how much kilometer will it cover in 1 liter. So what you have to find? You have to find distance. Okay, that means distance you are going to write on your right hand side. So how will you start it? In 5 liters, the bus covered covered 631.25 kilometer in 1 liter the bus covered 631.25 divided by 5 kilometer 631.25 by 5 into after decimal 2 digit so you are going to add 20 kilometer. Now cancel it by 5. 5 1 is 5. 5 1 is 5. 5 2 is 10. 3 1 5 6 is 30. 5 2 is 10. 5 5 is 25. No, wait. Oh no, now you don't cancel it. So after cancelling, our answer is 12625 by denominator is 100. We can again cancel it by 5. But if we cancel it, it will become little bit complicated. So why to make complicated? Simply you write the numerator 12625 denominator you have 20. That means you have to place decimal before 2 digit 126.25 kilometer. So in 1 liter the bus covers 126.25 kilometer. So I hope so it is clear. Now write next question the question says that I have two gold rings okay weighing 7.534 gram and 5300 milligram the weight of one ring is this much other ring is this much identify the heavier which one is heavier okay so to find out which one is heavier what we have to do we have to convert it into same unit as it is directed in your question also that you have to convert both the rings in same unit so let us see it is in gram, it is in milligram. That means what? It will be easier for us to change gram into milligram rather than changing milligram into gram. Okay? Now, weight of one ring. Right? Weight of one ring equal to what is given? 7.534 gram. We know what? 1 gram equal to 1000 milligram. So, what we can write? 7.5453 
ग्राम इक्वल इंटू वन थाउजेंड सेवन पॉइंट फाइव थ्री फोर इंटू वन थाउजेंड मिलीग्राम दैट मीन्स नाउ वी आर चेंजिंग ग्राम इंटू मिलीग्राम सो इफ आई राइट मल्टीप्लाई दिस माई आंसर विल बी सेवन फाइव थ्री फोर दिस ट्रिपल जीरो यू राइट हेयर मिलीग्राम नाउ यू हैव डेसीमेल बिफोर थ्री डिजिट नाउ प्लेस डेसीमेल बिफोर थ्री डिजिट इन योर आंसर इट विल बी सेवन फाइव थ्री फोर मिलीग्राम इज एंड इट नाउ नेक्स्ट वेट ऑफ अदर रिंग वेट ऑफ अदर रिंग इक्वल टू हाउ मच गिवेन इट इज ऑलरेडी गिवेन इन मिलीग्राम फाइव थ्री जीरो जीरो मिलीग्राम नाउ विच वन इज ग्रेटर यू हैव दिस एंड दिस दिस इज द वेट ऑफ वन रिंग दिस इज द वेट ऑफ अदर रिंग सेवन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड थर्टी फोर मिलीग्राम इज ग्रेटर और फाइव थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड मिलीग्राम इज ग्रेटर ऑब्वियसली दिस नंबर इज ग्रेटर इज एंड इट दे आर फोर मिलीग्राम इज ग्रेटर दैट मीन्स देर फोर सेवन पॉइंट फाइव थ्री फोर मिलीग्राम मीन्स सेवन पॉइंट फाइव थ्री फोर ग्राम सेवन पॉइंट फाइव थ्री फोर ग्राम ऑफ इज ग्रेटर और यू कैन राइट द रिंग वे इज सेवन पॉइंट फाइव थ्री ग्राम इज ग्रेटर यू कैन राइट द रिंग राइट द रिंग वेज वेज डब्ल्यू ई आई जी एच एस द रिंग वेज सेवन पॉइंट फाइव थ्री फोर इज ग्रेटर देन द रिंग वेज हाउ मच फाइव थ्री जीरो जीरो मिलीग्राम सो डियर स्टूडेंट हाउ वी हैव डन दिस बिकॉज वी नो वन ग्राम इक्वल टू वन थाउजेंड मिलीग्राम वी नो वट वन ग्राम इक्वल टू वन थाउजेंड मिलीग्राम so we can write it directly here 5.7.534 gram means 7.534 into 1000 mg like this we have converted it into mg and other ring is already it is in mg now after comparing these two we found that this is greater than this okay so in this way we have written our statement i hope so this exercise is clear to you